the American landscape and vital cogs in its economy. But despite representing just a small percentage of road-going vehicles, semi-trucks and buses create about a quarter of carbon emissions in the U.S. In a world battling climate change, the challenge is how companies with big transportation needs balance their core business with reducing their carbon footprint. PepsiCo is among the early adopters of electric semi-trucks as part of their goal to be carbon neutral by 2040. In 2022, they made a big splash as the first customers to receive the Tesla Semi. We want to deploy zero emissions vehicles, reduce our carbon footprint, but we still got to make sure we can run our operations and deliver our goods um, across the country. Pepsi operates about 21 Tesla Semis out of their Sacramento distribution center. Their goal is to work out any operational challenges that come with replacing diesel-powered trucks, which can cover more than a thousand miles on a tank. These trucks can run up to 500 miles on a single charge uh, in a single day. So between two drivers, one truck, 24 hours, uh, we were able to run 1,076 miles on a single electric truck. So we've got 750 kilowatt chargers here in Sacramento to allow us to charge those trucks quickly. For the regional routes Pepsi's Sacramento facility is operating, 500 miles on a charge is enough. The Tesla Semi has three electric motors, one of which drives the truck most of the time, while the other two are used mostly for acceleration and hard pulling. Together, they can tow up to 82,000 pounds, Tesla claims. It requires special charging stations, but the truck's range is also aided by regenerative braking. In a Semi, there's plenty of that, especially downhill and on exit ramps. It, did you spend any time in a Tesla car? I, I no, I nope, I have not. I went straight to the semi. Yeah. <laughs> Some Pepsi co-drivers seem to like it. The the Tesla is just very quiet and smooth. You can you you can hear things um, that you wouldn't hear in a in a diesel because you have the engine noise and the perspective of driving in the center. You have a better view of the road. For now, Pepsi isn't sharing details on dollars and cents. But if you consider the per mile cost of diesel fuel compared to electricity, electricity is much cheaper and the price is more predictable. Coupled with the potentially lower maintenance cost of electric trucks, these heavy haulers could pencil out nicely in the years to come. Of course, PepsiCo operates about 30,000 vehicles in the US and Canada. A handful of Teslas are a tiny step for tackling their own carbon goals, as well as the very real challenge of removing fossil fuel burning trucks from their California fleets by 2042, a new requirement that all trucking operations will have to navigate. The Tesla Semi is far from the only electric truck option out there, so in the future, the sound of a passing Semi could be very different. We have the advantage and responsibility of leveraging our scale to be early adopters in this space and then share those learnings with our partners and with the industry to help propel everyone forward.